Incredible new video today from a historic watery shipwreck. Parks Canada has released the first footage from the wreck of the HMS Erebus, one of two ships that vanished 170 years ago as part of the Lost Franklin expedition. Ice divers and archaeologists spent almost two weeks in the Arctic investigating the wreck that is on the freezing cold ocean floor. Today, we have our first look. Joining us from Toronto is Treasury Board President Tony Clement, who has had a chance to look at this video. Uh, a great m mystery here, Minister. Minister, uh, what did we see in the video? Well, we all love mysteries, of course, and what we saw as a live feed, it, it wasn't even a tape, it was, it was live to the video, and we had a, a, about 23 school kids, grade 7 kids, uh, watching with us, was uh, the uh, diver, Ryan Harris, uh, going around the Erebus. He pointed out a cannon and uh, he noted uh, what types of cannonballs would have been used. He pointed out where the mast was course broken off by this point but you can see the base of the mast and other uh, and uh, navig navigational equipment that would be uh, would have been used by the Arabists so it was very very just fascinating to see and of course uh, a great educational tool for our kids as well do we have a, a sense of why this ship sunk how did it end up on the ocean floor there uh, there was uh, when we were doing the the live feed you could see where parts of the uh, the frame of the ship had been demolished by ice. So this is, uh, again, part of what the scientific investigation is going to drill down a little bit more on, uh, you know, what was the exact cause of the wreckage, but uh, certainly ice seemed to be involved, uh, no big surprise there. Uh, but uh, what they've done basically right now ha has been to clear away some of the debris at the top of the, of the ship and uh, to get, give us clearer images of what is there. And of course, as the uh, investigation proceeds and as the scientific discovery proceeds, they're going to get into the ship and that will, of course, unlock many other details of uh, life on the Erebus. Uh, when you had a chance to, to watch the ship, it must be a, a bit chilling. Did you see any artifacts that might be able to be recovered in the future? Uh, well, of course, the bell, I think, is the thing that has been uh, already, uh, you know, demonstrated and recovered, which is great. Uh, and uh, that's, uh, that's, I think, touring uh, the country in some form or another. And uh, I, I, I'm sure there will be other artifacts. Uh, what they're trying to do right now is just get the top of the, of the ship from port to stern, uh, you know, obviously more, uh, more available to the scientists as they do their dives. Uh, and then they'll go from there. But this was a great, for us, this was the first time uh, that they've ever done a live feed from this kind of exploration. And to, to be talking directly to the uh, scientists, the archaeologists, uh, and the diver uh, in real time, uh, and the school kids getting the chance to ask questions, uh, that, that was just fantastic. You know, you, you really got a sense you were, you were right next door to Nunavut and, uh, and what was going on there. Well, certainly an important part of Canadian history and something that we will be keeping a very close eye on. Thank you very much, Minister Clement, for joining us today with that very exciting live feed video. My pleasure.